We have covered a lot of information today and done a lot of quilting. We've introduced you to the tools and skills you need to jumpstart machine quilting. Hopefully, you're off to a great beginning and feeling more confident in your abilities. You know that the key to success is up to you, so keep on practicing. Let's look at how far we've come. We first looked at what is needed in the way of sewing machines, accessories, and workstations. Then we learned why we needed to anchor the quilt layers and anchored Skill Builder using two different methods. We next practiced stopping and starting so both threads would end up on top of the quilt. We also considered the wide variety of thread choices which are now available to us. Next, we practiced using a walking foot on the straight Skill Builder lines. Free motion quilting with the darning foot was our next chapter. We practiced quilting straight lines, stippling, and loops with all various shapes. Finally, we practiced quilting 26 different designs on Skill Builder and suggested some applications and variations. Now you have the basics so you can quilt with the walking foot or the darning foot, freehand or with marked lines. You can enjoy the art of machine quilting, finishing your own quilt.